Welcome to Monday Morning Quarterback. I am your host, Youth One's Ryan Oliver. Today, I am excited to catch up with one of the rising stars from the 2029 class, Kobe Towns. Kobe, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Kobe, you're one of the top quarterbacks in your class. I believe QB Hitless has you as, if not the top, a dual threat quarterback right now. Um, tell me a little bit about kind of the past uh, year or so for you and how you feel like your game is developed. Well, I feel like I feel like I developed uh, a big, a big amount. Um, I just been working, you know, uh, doing a little stuff with my mechanics and just working on my leadership with my team and all that good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me a little bit about um, how your most recent season went and and maybe some aspects of your game you feel like you improved upon this past season um yeah I I definitely um I definitely improved um you know it's just it's just me like throwing to throwing to my receivers handing the ball off you know you know and, and just making the right reads you know and all those things make me better as a quarterback and as a leader yeah, tell me a little bit about the team that you are currently playing for or your, you know, this past season and tell me a little bit about the success you guys had in terms of like your record and things like that. So, okay. So, so pretty much the last the last team that I played for, it was the Abington Raiders. Cool. Um and then we went we lost like two games, I'm pretty sure. Then we lost um in the semifinal championship okay okay did you feel like that that was a successful season for you were you happy with kind of the way things went and how you uh the steps you've took forward in your you know in your game yeah I was for someone that hasn't seen you play Kobe what would you say your strengths are out there on the field um I'm a leader I'll get my teammates out or in and out that huddle fast. Uh, I would command my offense, you know, make the audibles if I need to. I am a dual threat quarterback, so I will run the ball a lot. Yeah. And then I would also pass. Uh, I'm very good at both. Uh, try to make a movie. Yeah, I feel like I was, I was looking at some of your recent clips on your Twitter page, and I feel like uh, you mentioned that your mechanics, you have been working on them. And I that was before I even heard you say that just now. I thought to myself that your mechanics looked noticeably smoother. So I think that that work, uh, you have a natural talent for throwing the ball, obviously, but I feel like that work that you're putting in is uh, is paying off because I think your mechanics, you know, look like they're improving and not that they were bad before, but there's always room for improvement. You know what I mean? So I think that um, it looks polished in that regard. Um, tell me uh, an area or areas of your game, Kobe, that you're looking to improve to be better uh, going forward. Um, well, yeah, I could, I could always improve on my mechanics, my leadership, uh, and then like speaking to my team. Um, I could improve on, on and off the field in many different aspects. What type of, um, like training are you doing outside of like normal practice and things like that? I know a lot of times you guys, uh, you quarterbacks are, you know, throwing at like five in the morning or, you know, some type of stuff like that. Is there anything that you're doing behind the scenes that we wouldn't know about that you could share with me? Um, yeah, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing strength and conditioning with, um, level 40. And then I'm doing my speed workouts with, uh, Brandon Bing, Robin, Robin Elite. And then I have my, I have my QB workouts with Coach Abe and Coach Ben. How do you feel like all those different uh, trainings have uh, have um, showed themselves when it when it comes time for like the game? Do you feel like that those that training is translating to success on the field? Uh, yes, it definitely helps me a lot, and then especially 
for strength and conditioning. I really need that. And then for my running, really need that too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just try to get uh, stronger every time I get in the weight room. Absolutely. Uh, Kobe, what are some goals that you have for yourself uh, going forward? What are some things maybe in even like the short term or 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 the long term would you like to, um, you know, you're, you're working towards, would you like to achieve? Um, so I would say, I would say for this season, I want to win the championship. And then for long, for long-term goals, I, I want to wear, I want to uh, win a national championship and a Super Bowl. Yeah, well, those are, those are some, some, uh, some great goals to work towards. And I feel like, it's good to have those short-term goals that kind of, you know, motivate you day to day. And then those long-term goals are also important. Uh, what, what grade are you in now, um, Kobe? I'm in sixth grade. Okay. Awesome. And uh, can you tell me like how tall you are now? I know you're probably grown since the last time I talked to you. Yeah, I'm five nine. Okay. Wow. Okay. So you're, you're growing. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, I mean, obviously you're growing, but that that's awesome. I feel like you're, you're as tall as me. So, <laughs> and, and I'm, 31 years old so that, you know uh you're going to keep growing and you know keep balling um is there anything else Kobe that people should know about you that they may not know that you'd like them to know um I don't think so uh just if you come to any of my games you're gonna see you're gonna see me play and you're gonna see me well hopefully win that game and just see me and just see me do the best that I can. I want to ask you this last question, Kobe, before we wrap this up. How does it feel to kind of have your name, you know, be buzzing and be growing and garnering more attention um, in terms of just what, you know, your skill set and what you bring to the table? I feel like, uh, you know, just over the past few months, I've heard your name a lot, you know, just brought up a lot more as a talent to keep an eye on, to watch. And mm -hmm. you know, obviously I've interviewed you, so I know about you, but, you know, how does it feel? Do you, well, one, do you feel like, you know, there's more eyeballs on you and more attention coming your way? And two, what, what do you feel like that says about your game? Um, yeah, yeah, I really, I really do feel like there, I really do feel like there is um, a lot of tension coming like us. And well, well, mainly because I'm getting older. Yeah. When I, when I get older, the skill gets better. Yeah. So I try to uh, work and do my best on that. And then, and then, yeah, um, I don't really get too high. I get too low. I usually stay in the middle whenever, like, if something happens. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like, you know, the attention's there, but it's not affecting you. You're just going to go out there and, and do you regardless. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, I think that's a good way to be, especially where, you know, you know, being in sixth grade, there's a lot of room to grow and there's going to be a lot more, I can promise you a lot more eyeballs coming your way, but that's, that's, you know, that's part of it. And um, to get where you want to get to, you know, you're going to have to talk to people like me and, and, uh, and uh, you know, continue to grow your game and do awesome things like that. Um, Kobe, I want to thank you for taking the time out to, come on Monday morning quarterback with me. I enjoy catching up with you and I, I'm I'm following your journey. So, you know, keep doing your thing, keep balling out and look forward to our next interview uh, a few months down the road as you uh, continue to grow, man. Thank you for joining me on Monday morning quarterback. No, no, thank you. Thank you.